Today, I'm gonna to show you a really cool trick to make a progress bar thing in Fusion, and then you can export it and use it for anything that you need to tell people kind of how long it, it goes. You know, like, like, it's just like this intro is almost over. Here's what we're gonna be making today. We have this progress bar frame thing that kind of goes around our footage, lets us know how long this clip is gonna be. This would be great for something like if you have a small ad or something in the middle of your video, or you could use this on social media, that kind of stuff. It's just a nice kind of subtle way to tell somebody how much is left on whatever clip you have. And we have this to where if we have a really short clip, we can resize this fusion composition and it will go from start to finish for the length of the clip. Here's how we make it. I'm gonna start by right-clicking in the media pool and saying new fusion composition. I'll just leave everything at defaults and double-click that to open it. And let's start with a background node. I'll just drag this into my flow here, take the output and pipe it into media out. So now we have a black screen. Let's take this background and I'll go to the inspector and let's change this black to whatever our like color is gonna be. So maybe this kind of teal, something like that. And now let's make this into a frame. Easiest way to do that is to grab a rectangle mask and we'll just mask this background like this. I'll select the rectangle mask and go to width. And these are all relative to the screen size. So if I want this to be perfectly around the edge of the screen, I can just say one for the width and one for the height. And let's uncheck solid and push up the border width. And now we have this little frame. Isn't that nice? That's a nice way to make a frame. Easy squeezy. Now we gotta make the white version of this frame. So I'll just grab another background node here and merge it over. And let's select this background and we'll make this white or nearly white, something like that. And great thing about nodes is we can reuse a mask like this and I'll just pipe that onto my background and now we have a white frame. I'll label all this just so it isn't so confusing. I'm just hitting F2 to rename. And now really all we have to do is mask this merge if I grab, say, a rectangle mask and pipe this into my merge, that will control where we see this white over this teal. So let's take the height up like two and the width up two, just so this is a lot bigger than our screen, right? Now I can do something like position this mask here and rotate it. And we can just move this back and forth to do our little wipe here. And there are a lot of ways to do this, but we can just kind of keyframe it. We'll start here and we'll animate our center. So I'll click on this keyframe diamond right here. That'll set a keyframe at zero. And then because I'm gonna do something kind of fancy here in a minute, I'm just gonna go to like frame four, something that's just a couple frames down so that we have the animation because we're gonna kind of retime this in a second. So we'll move that there and then we'll just move this off screen. So it just barely goes off the edge there, and now from zero to four, this wipes our whole screen. Obviously it's terrible right now, but we're set up to do some fancy things. We're gonna use a effect called keyframe stretcher. And what that will do is take whatever animation that we have, whatever animation that we kind of pump into it, and it will stretch it to the length of the composition. So I'll hit shift spacebar to bring up our select tool palette and type in keyframe. And here it is, keyframe stretcher, I'll hit add. And we're gonna take everything that we've made so far, except for the media out, and pump this into keyframe stretcher. Now, when we do this, things are gonna act really weird up here until we set our settings right. Like, it's not gonna make any sense, really. But if we take our keyframe stretcher, and we set these numbers just right, it'll take this animation that we have, that goes from zero to four, and it'll stretch it out to the length of the composition. Our first keyframe's at zero, our last keyframe's at four. So we'll grab keyframe stretcher here, and under source start, we'll say zero, source end, we'll say four, stretch start, we'll say zero, stretch end, we'll say four. Now what we're really doing is saying, okay, I want you to take any animation that happens between zero and four and stretch it out to the length of the composition. So now, as we scrub through this composition from zero to 120, it takes the entire time to move back and forth. If that's happening in our fusion comp like this, that means we're doing it right. Now, something to be aware of is this keyframe stretcher is kind of doing this in real time. So if you want to adjust something, you kind of have to turn off the keyframe stretcher first to actually get to the keyframes. If I wanted this to do something in the middle, I wouldn't do it at frame 54 here. 
I would turn off my keyframe stretcher and I would do it at frame two because my real animation is between zero and four and the keyframe stretcher is just stretching it. It's kind of confusing. Once you work with it a little bit, it'll make sense. But if we have something that works like this, then that should work in our edit page. So let's switch back to the edit page. And now I'll grab this Fusion Composition 2 that we just made, and we have this moving from left to right. If I stretch it out really far, it takes a really long time for it to go from left to right. If I make it really short, like just a second long, it works. Now we can take this and put it over our footage, and it's beautimous. Look at it go. Oh, baby, we did it. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, how do I save this so that I can use it later? Well, don't worry. Let's open our Fusion Composition again. We're going to select all our nodes except for Media Out. We're going to right click on anything that we have selected and go up to Macro, Create Macro, and we'll call this Progress Frame. Down here is where we would export controls if we need to. Let's just maybe export the teal background so that we can change the color. So we'll just say color, top left, green, blue, alpha, like that. And that'll let us change the color later. Let's go up to file and save as. Save it to our desktop as a progress frame dot setting and hit save. Now I can take this progress frame dot setting file and I can do a little bit of fanciness. This is kind of a lot for just this one thing. Normally you would kind of do several of these kind of presets and kind of put them in a package like this, but this is the easiest way to kind of make a template. I have videos on this, but just real quick, we'll say new folder and we'll call this one edit. And inside of edit, we'll make a new folder and we'll name this whatever we want it to kind of show up as on the edit page. So under effects, we could do titles, generators, or effects. Let's just make it a generator. You could also make it a title. It doesn't really matter as long as it makes sense to you. And we'll put progress frame dot setting into generators. And now we'll take this edit folder, right click, make this into a zip file. I'll hit okay. And it will make a zip file. And now I'm gonna rename this. Instead of dot zip, I'll name it drfx. And it's gonna say, if you change the file name, the file might, it's gonna change. Do you, are you sure you wanna change? Yes, I do. And then it looks like this fanciness like this. And now we have a little template. We can open up the Fusion page and drag this edit.drfx file into here. And it'll say, do you wanna add this selected template bundle to the effects Labra? Yeah, I do. Install, great. Let's switch back over to edit. And now under generators, we have this progress frame. Look at this fanciness. I can take this progress frame and drag this in resize it and everything, and it will work just like the Fusion Composition, but it's available even in a new project. Grab this progress frame, size it, look at it go. It's freaking working. Look at it work. Oh, baby. So good. You can do basically the same process with a progress bar or anything that you want to kind of stretch to the length of a clip, it's a real fancy thing to do. I hope that's helpful and inspiring for you if you're learning Fusion or if you just want to get some graphics done. Oh, baby. Hey, I like doing these little uh, graphics tutorials. If you want a specific graphic or something motion graphics kind of stuff, why don't you leave a comment below and tell me what you want? And maybe we'll make a video about it. How about that? How about put that in your place that you keep things that are good ideas? The good idea store place.